God. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, the Holy Spirit, now to the ages of all ages. Amen. Yesterday uh, and the day before, we had the first two uh, nights, Kiak nights, two vespers, Kiak, as we start the blessed month of Kiak. And as you've uh, heard, we started the church arranged to start to read the passages of the book of Luke to go through the narrative of the uh, uh, nativity of Jesus Christ. And as we started today, we, we've heard the gospel talking about the very first uh, steps where Zacharias, the priest, got the message from the angel that, he, that his wife, the barren uh, uh, Elizabeth, will bear a child. One of the key uh, praises that are sung during the Tazbeha of Kiak, uh, as we start the Tazbeha, if you are familiar with Tazbeha at Kiak, Saba or Ba, seven and four, as it's called, is what we call the Hus al Kiyaki. Uh, it's, as we start the Tazbeha, it's a collection of, uh, of uh, psalms that we start with the Kiyak Tazbeha every uh, Tazbeha night. Today, I want to go with you through uh, the sections of El Hos El Kiyaki. Uh, it's about 42 sections. We're not going to read them all, uh, although I really encourage you that as we uh, read the Psalms of the Egbeya through the hours, I really encourage you, as we go through the blessed month of Kiyak, to go read those 42 sections. As you know, every host of the Tazbaha tells a story. Like, for example, there is the story of the Israelite crossing the Red Sea, how the Red Sea was split and the Israelites passed through and Pharaoh's and his soldiers just got buried in the Red Sea. And there is also the story of the three, wise, the three young men, uh, and how they were thrown into the furnace of fire and Jesus was with them. And then there is also the story of praising God, how all the creature praise God. The Hus, the Kiyah, El Hus El Kiyahki also tells a story. Guess what? Guess which story that the church is really focused on these days during the month of Kiyah. We are only fixated on the story of Jesus Christ's birth from the pure Saint Mary. So this is what the host, the Kiyah host, the 42 sections talk about. I'll briefly go through them, and as I said, I really encourage that you go re read them throughout the month. They are a great blessing. And as you go with this mindset, what is the story that this Kiyak host is telling me? We will get a lot of blessing of it. So there are three things that the story of the Kiyak host tells us. Praising God, and also looking at St. Mary and how she became a vessel, uh, and, and through her, the, the incarnation and the salvation economy was fulfilled. So there are some prophecy as well that we're going to stop at the, the Hos al Kiyaki as it talks about nativity and as it relates to the nativity of Jesus Christ. The first two sections is a general praise. Sing to the Lord a new, sing, uh, a new song, I will, praise, I will praise the Lord at all times. So the main key goal of all the praises that we, think, that we sing and we offer to God is to praise His holy name. Then as we start the third section, we start getting to the topic, the incarnation. You who dwell between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. And in Arabic, we say, the distance between the cherubim is And we relate that to what we pray in the liturgy. God, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. And you, if, if like the, uh, uh, the prophet David chose to only call on those three tribes of Judah, anyone could, uh, could find out or could answer why did he pick those three tribes? Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh. They're the youngest. They're the children of the tribes. And as Jesus Christ, God incarnated, he, be, he came to us as a child. As if he's telling us, the Lord who sits upon the cherubim will come to us as a child among the three youngest tribes of, of Israel. 
Then the, sec the fourth section continues to say, He bowed the heavens and came down. Darkness was under his feet. A theme that you could follow in this host, Kiyaki or Kiyaki host, is the switch from darkness to light, the switch from sin to righteousness, and the switch from sadness to rejoicing and joy. The sections five to eight, they talk about Virgin Mary. So we praise God for he is coming down from earth to us, from heaven to us, and that's gonna happen through the Virgin Mary. So section five tells us, the wings of a dove are covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold, silver and gold, pure and kingships. The hill of God is as the hill of Bashan. This is the hill which God desires to dwell in. See how, how there is an emphasis and, and, and really a great focus on how is God who sits among the cherubim will come down and dwell in us, dwell in our humanity. At your right hand stood the queen, Galasat al-Malika an Yamin al-Malik. So that's why we say the, these five portion of the host really focused on St. Mary. Hearken, O daughter, as if uh, uh, the prophet David is, ta is talking to St. Mary. Hearken, O daughter, and see, and incline your ear, and forget your own people and your house, the king shall greatly desire your beauty. Isn't that what we just read about the consecration of Virgin Mary and how she left her, her house and became Nazareth to the temple and, and as, uh, as a chosen one for the, the, the child Jesus Christ to be born of her. And then section 10 tells us all the glory of the daughter of the king is within, with gold fingered. The virgins shall follow after her and are brought unto her. Then section 11 and 12 goes back to praising God. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. His foundation is in the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gate of Zion, the church. Or in this case, we can also make the case that it's St. Mary. I'm just going to stop at section 13 and 14 for the sake of time, but I really encourage you that you go read all 42 sections. They are really beautiful, and they continue on the same uh, line that we've discussed. So section 13 and 14. Of Zion it shall be said, this is, and what man was born in her, and the highest himself established her. Of Zion it shall be said, This is that a man was born in her. But this is talking about, about who? About St. Mary. The highest himself established her, the angel of the Lord encampus around about them, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. The, uh, the host goes on to list a number of different praises. Sections 15 to 22 talks about how the angels praise the Lord and praise this beautiful event and how even the nature itself, the heavens and the earth, are praising the Lord uh, for his salvation. Uh, section 23 and 24 focuses on how this is the economy of salvation. Uh, grid your sword, open your thigh, O most highly with your glory and your majesty, right. You shall tread upon the lion and other, and the dragon you shall trample the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength. So we praise God for his salvation that came to us through Virgin Mary. And then it highlights and links that salvation with the very early prophecy that God gave to our father Adam and our mom Eve in paradise when he said, the offspring will trample the head of the serpent. So we see here that 
clear reminder. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, and the dragon shall you trample. This is the Son of God who made salvation possible, who brought to us the salvation, and that's why the rest of the host, sections 28, pretty much all the way to the end, talks about just one thing, how the righteous is rejoice how we the saints rejoice with the salvation of god and with his mighty hand that brought to us this child who through his suffering and through his crucifixion and resurrection we gain these the salvation and we gain back eternal life may glory be to god forever and ever amen